So I'm about to take the action out of the piano and decide where my samples are going to go and remove the punchings under them. And one of my duties would be to pre-level the end naturals and sharps for, uh, for leveling the keys. And they fit well in the case parts the way they are. They have more key pin in the front mortise than they need by a little bit. And I've just measured the sharps and they are for my the spec that I want to use perfect at both ends. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the naturals and arbitrary red punching and the sharps and arbitrary green punching and use that for my leveling samples in order to make sure that this keyboard, which is not bad, uh, has no keys between the two that are supporting it, which want to be the outer two. I want no keys touching for one of the samples uh, that I'm going to take that um, monitors the overall shape of the front rail. Okay, so I have a plan. I'm going to pull out the action and we'll uh, get going. So I've got my uh, key step bedding and strike kit out. And in it there are 10 12 millimeter key steps and 10 10 millimeter key steps. And it depends on how long the key pins are and how much space there is under the key. Um, it, it looks like from my samples that I did when things were in the piano that the taller 12 millimeter key step will work with these keys. And um, I've already got one under that sharp. And I took off its punchings and this punching for samples. And what I'm going to do is choose the rest of the samples which uh, include leveling samples of the outer two sharps and naturals, the outer natural also serves as a bedding sample and there will be one bedding sample in front of each stud but also there are two hidden studs. I'm going to have one in front of each of them because the studs are what support the balance rail and so the keys that are in front of those studs are the most sensitive to a change in the stud, but also the most stable uh, in the course of the balance rail. 